key EU summit has drawn to a close with a no breakthrough on a Brexit deal. With talks still in deadlock, UK Prime Minister Theresa May has agreed that a transitional period could be extended. Now she's under pressure from the EU to bring some compromise to the negotiation. But as she heads home, she'll also be facing pressure from her own government. Well, for more on this, let's go to Thomas Cole. He's head of policy for anti-Brexit campaign group Open Britain. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Uh, we've heard that there could be a transition period, that it's extended. You know, what do you think the uh, reaction's going to be back home? And uh, do you think that's going to face the backlash from Brexiteers? I think it certainly will face a backlash from um, from uh, from Brexiteers. I think the one issue with with transition, regardless of what side of the argument you are on on, on the UK, is it turns the UK from being a rule maker with a seat around the table into a rule taker. And now this proposal to extend the transition period by another year in order to be able to mitigate the the, the effects of whether or not the back uh, the the backstop would come into place in Northern Ireland at all, um, of, of, of course would be there, but it's it's an extension of being a rule taker for, for another 12 months. I mean, it's, wh whether you're pro-European or anti-European in the UK, it's something which I think is going to be very, uh, very uh, uh, hard to stomach for politicians on both sides of the, um, of the debate. And I can't really see her trying to be able to get this through successfully through the House of Commons. And, uh, you know, the EU is asking for compromise. Uh, what's the likelihood that we'll end up with a deal that nobody is happy with? I think there's a very high chance of that. And I think that the, uh, the approach that Theresa May has basically been putting to the British people is that it's either a choice of her deal, which is going to be, which could well be the UK being as a whole in a customs union with the EU, so not being in charge of its own uh, trade policy, despite the fact that uh, the Brexiteer cheerleaders, um, people like Boris Johnson, Nigel Farage, that was one of the main arguments they made in order for the UK to be able to get its own trade deals. And secondly, Northern Ireland potentially being in the single market, but Great Britain, so the rest of the UK, not being in the single market. That's, on the, uh, that's the one option. And the second option that she's proposing is no deal. And I don't really think that that's the case. There is actually um, an alternative to that. And that is something that our campaign is arguing for, and that is for the people to be able to have a say at the end of the process. And we're calling for a people's vote. There's a big march in London tomorrow. We expect there are 100,000 people to be there. But I do think there's a very real possibility that Theresa May does come back to Parliament, the British Parliament, at the end of the process and proposes something which is ultimately voted down.